All right, so this is Blender, how to get a Blender model that's been rigged with fancy uh, IK rigging and, and uh, Rigify and all that stuff into Unity without it going crazy. Um, so I, I tried a lot of different things. So the short of it is delete all the scale to, like the stretch to constraints in the rig. Um, so go in there, delete all the stretch to constraints and it should work. So here's the long, the long version of it. Uh, I was trying to, I've got this commission to uh, have this character and I've got a few different animations. This is one of the animations I was doing. Not the best animation job, but you know, it's fine. So uh, that loops and it's supposed to all import. So ideally you should be able to just take this and go over to Unity and uh, drag this character into here and it should all just import in. But Instead, um, it, it has problems. So when we actually drop this in, you can see the head is like smeared out all over the place. Uh, so that's terrible. But the animation works, kind of. So if we go over here to what the inspector, or no, here, importer. So you can see if we run this, where's our scene um, down here you can run this and it's it's playing like the animation's playing it's just all garbled out and so it turns out that the problem I, I tried a bunch of things I tried exporting as FBX and then re-importing the FBX and like fixing the scale and that didn't work right and uh, I tried changing the way that the rig was, was uh, animated so here's what worked you go in to bone constraint uh, you go into pose mode and you have to unhide in the bones. You have to unhide all these layers. So I just hold down shift and unhide all these bone layers. So you can see all the bones. And in here, there are a few bones. You can see them right here. They're really thin and stretched out. And that is our problem. So we need to go in here and just delete the stretch to constraints. And you can see it changes the way that the, the rig works. Copy, transform, stretch to, delete it. And then there's one inside here. There's like a tiny, tiny, tiny little bone somewhere in here. It's hard to see. So what I did is I, I set up a, a copy location constraint, I think. Let's see, is that, is that gonna work? Uh, I may have broken it. All right, well, anyway, I fixed it. And uh, here's, here's how I fixed it. So here is the fixed rig. And let's just turn all these layers on again. Mm, oh, no, those are protected. Did I turn on a protection? Is that why it wasn't working? I don't know. I'm not super great at this. So you can see in here, none of these bones are all crazy stretched out. There's one, there's one in here that's really tiny. Yeah, this one. I think maybe that one's fine. But I deleted the constraints on that one, too. So there's a bunch of there's a bunch of little bones in there. Turns out it's in this neck area uh, that was causing the problems. None of the other ones seem to have a problem with them. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can select all the bones and go over here to the um, the IK stretch and turn that all down to zero. And I think that's also important. So you want to basically have no stretching going on because when it stretches stuff, the way that it imports it doesn't work properly. So you can see this is the same animation. Uh, Let's see, let's hide that so you can actually see the thing. So it's the same animation. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't really change it very much. I had to add a, um, what else did I do? I added an IK constraint to this bone, I think. That's got copy transform. One of these has an IK on it so that the so that the IK following works properly. Because uh, otherwise, without stretching, it doesn't know how to move stuff. So, so anyway, so now it doesn't stretch at all anymore. And you have to be a little careful to not have your animation go to the full extent or else it looks kind of strange. But that... When we import that into Unity, we can actually 
let's see, delete that. Uh, we'll leave that in so just so we can see the comparison. Descaled should be destretched, but whatever. Works. All the stretch two constraints have been removed. And there you can see in the preview, it looks good. And you can actually see it, it actually looks like it kind of is intended to do. The head's um, jittering a bit. And I think that's from how it's importing the uh, the number of iterations it's using to import the uh, the inverse kinematics. So I don't know if we can like resample this, maybe like reduce it to 0 0.1. 0.1 and then apply, see if that works. I'm doing this on the fly. I've, I've never actually tried this. Hey, it's well, ooh, mm, that's actually better. That's much better. Okay, so that, that's, that fixed it. Rotation error and position error. Animation compression. Yeah. So that seems to work. So uh, if you if you go to all this stretch two constraints and delete them all, then you go from this to this, and that works in what is this Unity version? Oh man, about Unity. Unity serial number? No, you don't even have a version, do you? Here we go. Twenty twenty dot three dot fifteen f two personal is the one I'm working on right now. Who knows what they're going to do in the future, but here it is for the present. So I hope that is helpful to somebody. It sure would have been helpful to me about five hours ago. Um, so now I'm going to go back and actually finish all the animations in Blender, and I won't have to worry about FBXs and fixing stuff and reanimating stuff.